Hi, welcome to the jungles of Bolivia. I've been here for about three weeks up in the Andes Mountains in La Paz to the border of Peru, across here working on some media projects, working with government, the health officials, the governor, and also uh, foreign relations in order to be able to develop opportunities for service in this country and to be able to help somebody. The other day, we heard about a tragic event. Three little children got burnt. And we were so glad that our Aerostar, along with Captain Herman, were on near the site in Guayramarín. They flew across and brought the three children. I want to show you a few bit, a little video here of what has happened, and I want to thank you for being part of this beautiful Adventist medical aviation program of Gospel Ministries International. This is just a little spot in a lot of my travels, but we are so grateful to have equipment and people that can be there in times of emergencies. God bless. Hi, my name is Herman Gonzalez, and I fly for Gospel Ministries International in Bolivia under their Adventist medical aviation program. Um, I was flying the Aerostar up to Guayamarín, the school, when I received a call uh, Sabbath afternoon. Uh, I was asleep and there was an emergency that three kids had been uh, burned and uh, I and a doctor got on a motorcycle and uh, rode into, into town and um, to the airport, got in the Aerostar and flew as fast as possible to Ruinabaki. As we landed there, the ambulances were waiting for us and we quickly ushered the three kids and their families aboard the airplane. And then we made a two and a half hour flight to Santa Cruz, uh, to the international airport, where we dropped off the kids and, and their families and they were rushed to the uh, children's hospital there. I'm Jesse Walker. I'm an uh, emergency physician in Midland, Michigan, and uh, I'm interested in doing uh, missionary volunteer work and uh, medical mission work. I'm also a pilot and interested in uh, combining those uh, uh, skills and uh, uh, working for uh, Jesus in that uh, capacity. And uh, yesterday we were up at uh, Guayada. Um, and uh, we were actually going to go visit a village uh, and walk uh, nearby, uh, but we did uh, uh, got a phone call just uh, as just before we were to, to walk away from the uh, school there, uh, and the phone call was for a medical emergency. Uh, three children were uh, badly burned, and uh, so we uh, quickly threw our things back into our bag and. Uh, uh, three full-grown men on a one motorcycle, two backpacks, and away we went, 22 kilometers uh, to the airport. And uh, once we uh, arrived there and uh, were able to uh, take off in the airplane and head over to Rure uh, to pick up those uh, children. Uh, and unfortunately, one of those girls was, was very badly burned. Apparently, they were playing with some sort of a uh, bottle of alcohol. I'm not sure uh, what the details were, but they were by a, 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 a open flame by, our, by a cook stove and the, the, the alcohol caught fire and so the, from the evidence that I could see it looks like there was a big fireball that the children were caught in and uh, more than just those three children were born, burned but some of them were uh, minor and, and stayed behind uh, but then we were able to uh, get them back to uh, Santa Cruz uh, in a fairly short time so within probably uh, six or eight hours of the event we were able to have them evacuated to uh, Santa Cruz where they could uh, receive definitive care uh, and so that was uh, a, a real a, a tragedy for those children uh, but we were glad that we, that we could be there to help them. We arrived at the airport uh, about 7.30 or 8 p.m. I think uh, uh, and it was amazing there was a line there were there were police there there were flashing lights there were ambulances there uh, the airport officials were there everybody was there waiting to greet us at the uh, Vito Vito International Airport, Santa Cruz. So uh, it, was, it was quite a spectacle. Uh, and it took many people to, uh, to coordinate all of that. Uh, uh, specifically, I know of uh, George, uh, who uh, runs a medical house uh, there in Santa Cruz, was able to uh, uh, make the medical arrangements there in the city. Uh, and uh, uh, Jeff Sutton, of course, was able to uh, make flight arrangements and uh, things like that for us and deal with the airport. So they were uh, expecting us as we arrived.
entran en, en esto. Aquí vamos a llevarlo. Sí, sí. Dos más chiquititos en esto. here at Bolivia require and need pilots who are capable of flying airplanes and we also need medical staff that can take care of patients on board an aircraft and in transit and uh, my heart goes out to those that uh, want to do something like this we desperately need people like that and we desperately need other people that, that have other types of talents like coordinating flights and doing things on the ground for us so if you feel God's uh, calling Please uh, contact Gospel Ministries International because we need you and Jesus needs you.